Hello friends, Alex on the 21st of July, 2021. Currently, uh, what time are we? 6.39. Um, currently at New Orleans Station, waiting for the bus to go to Hidogawara in the Southern Alps. Currently in Yamanashi Prefecture, um, in preparation for the big ridge walk that we'll be doing. Um, we'll take around five to six days, so you'll be with me for a very long time from now. Um, so you'll need to get used to seeing this uh, mug, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, I just took the uh, the night bus, which stopped over there. Um, basically sorted out uh, preparations and such. My baggage is over there. Need to put a uh, incense burner in there when I get to Hidogawara, like that. And then, uh, yeah, so the route today that we're going to be covering anyway, day one, will be going up to Mount Kita, then Mount Aino, then going down to a place called Kumano Daida starting around 8.40 and then uh, from there having a rest at Criminal Old Ida, pretty much so yeah, um, that's about it for me for now so I'll take some more footage later on so until then, Alex out Hello friends, Alex on the 21st of July 2021 currently 9.35 in the morning we're at a junction point just heading up to uh, Mount Kita it's around 1660 metres elevation uh, Mount Kita is 3210 metres or so if I recall. Um, so yeah, we've got a good uh, 1600 metres to go or so. Um, so yeah, it's a very, very sort of forested path for the most part by the looks of it. Um, there's a fair few people ascending. I've passed a couple already. Um, there's one guy in front of me, but I'm just giving him a bit of time before I continue because I don't want to be on his, uh, on his trail all the time. Um, yeah, very, very nice weather, but fortunately uh, shielded by the trees for now. Um, my skin is burning quite a bit, probably because of the sunburn. Um, I have put some screen on so uh, it shouldn't really get any worse, but still, it does kind of hurt in the heat and uh, the sweat sort of rubbing up against it, but, you know, that can't be helped. Um, this is the arm in question. I uh, don't know if you can tell, it's fairly red. But yeah, um, it's going to take a bit more of a break and then uh, continue up, I think. Um, there's a few benches littered uh, along the path up here, apparently. I uh, don't really think it gets much steeper than this, um, but even so, uh, the gradient's not too extreme, so uh, it just continues on for a very long time. So it's a good uh, thousand meters or so it continues on for. So yeah, um, obviously come down from down there, which is where Hidogawada is. I was going to take a video there, but there was lots of uh, construction works going on. So I thought this place would be more appropriate for a video, as it's a bit quieter. So yeah, I'm going to get back to it, and I'll uh, take some more footage later. So until then, Alex, out. Hello again, friends. Alex in the Southern Alps on the way up to Mount Kita. Currently 2,050 meters elevation, 10.38 in the morning, 21st of July, 2021. So yeah, uh, just a very quick update. Um, just had a nice meeting with a, uh, a Jack Russell actually. So a couple had put their Jack Russell up here. Um, it was a she rather than a he. I accidentally called it an orji san which is a grandpa in Japanese. Um, as you can see, there's a very, very nice view from here as well. Um, that I feel in front of us is probably Mount Yakushi. That will probably be Mount Kannon, and then Mount G, uh, Jigatake will be over there somewhere. Um, Jizo? Yeah, sorry, Jizo Gatake, not Jigatake, that's the other one. Um, but yeah, so we did uh, Mount Yakushi not too long ago with Mount Kaikoma, which will be over there in the distance somewhere. And if you can uh, make out on the sound as well, there's not only the bells behind us, but also uh, helicopter rotors going off in the distance. Because I think that they uh, just delivered some uh, goods to Mount Kita and uh, the mountain lodge there. So yeah. I'm going to uh, continue going up. We're making really good pace at the moment, so uh, I might make, I might just consciously uh, slow down a touch because I uh, don't want to burn myself out or anything. It's just only the first day of five, so first day of five or six, I should be honest. So, yeah. Um, and so I'll take a bit more footage, which will be, which will be a li bit later. Uh, Alex out. Hello again, friends. Alex on the uh, Southern Alps on the way up to Mount Kita on the 21st of July, 2021. Currently 13:20 or 20 past one in the afternoon. Um, so that's our objective up there, that's Mount Kita. Um, really, really pretty side from here. We're at a place called Mount Kotaro Yama Junction. Koto, Kotoda, Kotaro, Kotaro Yama. Okay, yeah. Kotaro Yama, the name of the mountain, is that one over there, the, uh, the one in the foreground. The one in the background, if you uh, have a keen memory, is Mount Kaikoma, lurking in the distance, widening in the clouds over there. And over there, um, it's not covered in snow this time, so it looks a bit different, but that's Mount Senjo over there. 
and you also have the three peaks of uh, Mount Hor over there. So uh, Mount Jizor, Mount Kamnon, and then Mount Yakshi over to the right. Um, so yeah, currently the only mountain not in sight is uh, Mount Ainor from here, because we need to be at the peak of Mount Kita really to see that, because it's uh, directly behind it. And then uh, you can also see the Shoulder Mountain Lodge, which is straight ahead. There's a dip and there's a uh, mountain lodge hiding in there. So yeah, that's where we're heading to now. It should take about half an hour. Can I follow this uh, train of people that I seem to have caught up with? So yeah, otherwise uh, going very well in terms of pace, I think. So it's uh, going to be about another uh, hour, give or take, to get to the summit. So uh, yeah, I'll take some more footage a bit later. But until then, Alex, out. Hello friends, Alex on the 21st of July 2021, currently quarter to three in the afternoon. Um, at the summit of Mount Kita, 3,193 meters. There's the summit marker over there. There's Mount Kaikoma in the distance. There's Mount Senjor. There was a fake peak on the way to Mount Kita. It was around the same elevation. There's Mount Hall, uh, Yakshi, Kanon, and Jizor. Uh, Mount Aino is over there. Um, That's quite exciting. I don't think you can see all the mountains. But yeah, so Mount Aino is over there. Uh, Mount Shidane is uh, in between. It's just a big old ridge walk over there. It's not really too bad by the looks of it, which is lovely. Um, Mount Shiomi is currently hiding in the clouds over there, straight ahead. And then finally, Mount Fuji is over there. So yeah, very, very good climb. Um, to be honest, caught three. Wasn't really expecting it to be this quick. Um, so yeah, very, very good time. Um, apparently from the summit of uh, Mount Kita, it takes around two hours to get to Aino. So uh, yeah, we'll be looking at around a, uh, around a five o'clock, quarter past five, uh, Mount Aino summit. And then a uh, sort of leisurely hour and a half, two hour descent down to uh, Kumanon Daida. So yeah. Looking really good so far. Um, I hope that you've sort of enjoyed these short lippets so far. Um, I'll take a bit more uh, footage later on. I'm just trying to be a bit wary of battery because uh, obviously it's five days this time so I don't really want to run out. But yeah, there you go. Some of the clouds are looking very, very moody up there. There's the, uh, the summit area again. This is technically higher than there, so this should probably be the summit here. But yeah, um, and there's a, uh, another ridge line there that you can go down. And then, sorry, uh, finally as well, uh, Nortori, Mount Nortori is uh, over there straight ahead. So just behind, uh, I know. I know it's about 3,180 and then Nortori is around 3,080. If I recall off the top of my head, you have like Western and Central and then Eastern Nortori. Uh, the Western one, I believe, is the, uh, the tallest one. I don't know what that range in the uh, distance is, the three peaks over there, but it's uh, rather tall, so it's probably one of the famous ones, who knows. But yeah, so, until next time, uh, probably when I get to Mount Aino, that's one down. But yeah, until next time, Alex, out. Hello friends, Alex in the Southern Alps on the way to Mount Aino currently, currently 1653, 21st of July 2021, elevation 3055 meters, currently the summit of Mount Nakashirane, which uh, is a mountain between Mount Kita, which is over there, I'm scared about the clouds currently because the weather's become rather poop, um, and Mount Aino, which is over there, which again, you can't really see because the clouds are obscuring it, so yeah, um, but yeah, Mount Nakashirane, it's part of the uh, the trio of mountains, Mount Aino, Mount Nakashirane, and then also Mount uh, Kita as well. Makes up a quite popular ridge walk route that uh, a lot of people take. But yeah, our objective for now will be to uh, go over there towards uh, Mount Aino, which looks like there's a bit of a drop and then uh, sort of a rise up by the looks of it. Oh, shitting hell, I just saw lightning. Okay, yeah, I was going to take a break here on the summit, but I'm not going to. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to go down a bit because I don't know if you can hear that, that's thunder and lightning. Yeah, this is rather dangerous. I uh, don't really want to get struck by lightning. So yeah, um, that's it for me for now. Uh, hopefully I'm okay after this. I uh, need to very quickly go on that panel and go down it um, and make sure we don't stay on the bridge too long. Uh, so yeah. Um, fuck it okay. Right, so until next time, Alex, out. Hello friends. Alex in the Southern Alps on the 21st of July 2021, currently 1748, in the middle of a thunderstorm on the top of Mount Ainor, which is the summit marker just up there. So it's 3,190 metres. Um, those of you with keen memories will remember that Mount Okuhotaka also has the same height, so they are joint third highest mountains in Japan. Mount Kita, which is second, is normally over there, um, but 
I mean, to be honest, the cloud is starting to clear up slightly, so I'm wondering if we're going to get an Oku Otaka sort of occasion here where the cloud's clear, but I don't know if there's ugh, no way of telling, unfortunately. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> pretty knackered, because it's been a pretty long day. Um, obviously started climbing around 9 o'clock, it's now uh, approaching 6, so basically approaching 9 hours or so. Um, have about another hour and 10, hour and 20 minutes before uh, getting back down to Commodore Daida, which is in that direction. So we're heading into the clouds. Um, fortunately, these gas clouds only seem to be a fairly high elevation, so I feel like when we drop back below 3,000 meters, um, hopefully they will disappear and disperse. That would be ideal, I think. But yeah, um, I don't want to uh, chill down too much because uh, you know still got the descent back to Kumano Daila back, uh, Kumano Daila left, um, and yeah, need to take care on that because accidents happen on the way down typically. So yeah, um, other than that, I'm gonna, uh, where is it? Okay. I'm gonna have my Kit Kats that I bought at uh, Mount Kita Mountain Lodge. Uh, probably a bit of water, that's a flash of lightning for fuck's sake. Um, <laughs> And then uh, get the hell off this mountain because I don't really want to get struck by lightning. Um, so yeah. Oh, God. Until next time, Alex. Out. Uh, hello again, friends. Alex on the twenty-first of July, twenty twenty-one. Currently 18.47 in the evening on the way down to Kuma no Daida, or the Bears Plateau, if you translate that into English. So yeah, um, fortunately not in the lightning and thunder anymore, we survived that, woohoo. Um, instead there's just uh, some light rain coming down, hence the, uh, hence the waterproofs. Um, we've got about another 40 minutes before getting to uh, Kuma no Daida, so uh, wait a sec, what time is it now? Yeah, 18.48, so uh, sunset will be in about another uh, half an hour, so sort of arriving just in time for the sunset, pretty much. Um, I do have a headlamp and such, though, so it's not really an issue. Um, but yeah, over there you can see uh, Mount Senjo in the distance, and Mount Kaikom is also sticking out over there. Uh, due to the formation of this range, that's Mount Mibu in the, uh, in the foreground. Due to this getting in the way, you can't see uh, Mount Kita anymore. Um, when we climb up Mount Shiomi tomorrow, which will uh, probably be that one dead ahead, I think. Um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, when we climb up Mount Shiomi, you'll probably be able to see uh, Mount Kita and Mount Aino again, hopefully, if the weather's okay. I've not really looked into uh, the weather too much, in too much detail anyway, because it uh, stresses me out doing so. This is quite nice though, and it's kind of like a mix of horrible and very very idyllic so can't be helped um yeah so i'm gonna continue down um about another uh 200 meters um elevation change before getting to communal data i believe anyway um i did spot it in that i'd spotted a red building straight ahead in that sort of where that cloud is now in the forest and i'm assuming that's where it is so uh yeah, I'll uh, continue heading down towards there, so until next time, Alex, out. Morning friends, Alex on the 22nd of July, 2021, currently 4.30 in the morning, and we are at uh, Kumano Daida, so it's just filling up some water, and uh, there are a fair few people here, um, they all seem to have departed at 4 o'clock though, um, a few of them or at least uh, two of them at least seem to be going to Mount Shiomi, the same direction I'm going to. Um, don't know where the other ones were going. But yeah. I sort of introduced myself to a couple of them, but the other ones, I don't know, I sort of left them to their own devices, you know. Um, so yeah. The reason we're filling up water is because we're going to make some breakfast now. So... <sighs> As you can see, quite a nice view from here. Uh, Mount Shiomi isn't that one over there though, it will be uh, over in that direction somewhere. Because the signage is uh... <sighs> Excuse me. 
signage is pointing over uh, that way to get to my show me, so yeah. I'll just uh, set you down one sec. Um, so yeah, I got to Mount, Mount Kamenol Daida, Jesus, I got to Kamenol Daida, so here, yesterday at around uh, 20 past 7, so just in time before the uh, light was starting to disappear. Um, then I made some dinner, so I made some udon noodles and curry, which was very, very tasty, so um, presuming that I have access to the same amount of water, which is one of the worries for today, um, when I set camp tonight, I'll uh, try and make something similar. Does that really replenish my energy? So, quite like that. As I'm yawning like mad, you're probably wondering, have I got enough sleep? Um, probably not. Um, I got to bed at around uh, half past eight, and then uh, got up or was awoken about uh, an hour ago, around uh, half past three. So that's it's still seven hours. So I think that's okay. Uh, but yeah. To be honest, I could sit here rambling all the time, but I'm going to start making breakfast, I think, and then uh, make a start for Marciomi, I think. I can uh, feel that my nose is peeling, so that's a bit annoying. Uh, other than that, though, it seems to be good on the sunburn front. Um, need to make sure to apply some today, because, as you can probably tell off the sky, looks like it's going to be very, very uh, hot again. Which is probably better than a uh, rain slash thunder as it was yesterday. So yeah, until next time, which I'll take some more footage on the way up to Mount Xiaomi. Alex, out. <laughs>